what is going on everybody it is the phantom michael today we have a deck profile for bakura from duelist kingdom um as you can see guys we're kicking it off right away with morphing jar um a lot like the other deck profiles that you're going to see me do for duelist kingdom there's a couple creative liberties that i took based on the cards the character used as well as the cards that were available at the time that duelist kingdom took place so we're going to go ahead and go through the cards and uh, we can talk about it here at the end um up first we have the morphing jar we have the electric lizard the white magical hat mask of darkness man eater bug and brain jacker for the effect monsters um brain jacker is one of those creative liberties that i took uh just because it fit the character um and then Mask of Darkness, if you guys recall, he showed this card and revealed it uh, when he showed Pegasus and had the shadow game of Pegasus. So I am I believe he even might have used it during the duel with you, yet just not 100% sure. Uh, but that's it for his effect monsters. Up next we have the Lady of Faith, of course. This is how uh, he lost the duel against Yugi. Um, we have the Headless Knight. The Gross Ghost of Field Dreams. The Earl of Demise, Dogma, the Angel of Silence, again, card used to show Pegasus what he had, so he must have had this card in his deck somewhere, along with the Happy Lover, he also had this card, uh, because he revealed it to Pegasus as well, so uh, some of these other cards you see here um, were used more in Battle City, but they were all available uh, during the time of Duelist Kingdom, but um, Happy Lover, again, just a card that he, uh, he had in his deck kind of looks like it. It has some creepy cards in it, but it also has some fairies in it. I think that was because of the light side of Bakura. But um, that's what we got. So Metabat, Dark King of the Abyss, Trial of the Nightmare, and Soul of the Forgotten. Uh, again, Creative Liberties um, to round out the deck. So to get the... The anime does not show all 40 cards in the character's deck. So the ones I took Creative Liberties on, I did one of the cards that have... Uh, that were definitely using the anime. I had duplicates of to get 40 cards. So that's where you'll see that come into play. Uh, up next, we have the Change of Heart, Chain Energy, uh, Ultimate Offering, and Just Desserts. Ultimate Offering was a creative liberty, but the other three, uh, how broken is this card in Duelist Kingdom? Absolutely crazy. Almost O Code Yugi in one swing. Um, chain Energy again. Super devastating. He never actually got to use it, but he definitely used it on some of Pegasus's henchmen. And then Change of Heart, man. Such a nasty card for Duelist Kingdom. Uh, imagine if they could have attacked directly, or if he fusioned some of the one of their monsters like here. Not much you can do then. But that is it for this deck profile. If you guys enjoyed, please go ahead and smash that like button down below because you already know your support's so greatly appreciated. If you guys want to see a major duel, or maybe I do like a tournament-based with uh, all these cards, you guys just let me know. And uh, comment down below if I missed any cards. If you think I should add something, you know, feel free to let me know down in the comments. But with that, everybody, I've been the Phantom Michael. I am going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one.